Hey, did you have a great time tonight, Abuka? Definitely, I do have a, a great time. It was awesome. I had a blast and I encourage you guys to come here and have fun. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for coming in. I hope to see you guys again. It's been a fantastic night at Boca on Fulton Street in Brooklyn, New York. See you guys soon. Every third Friday of the month at Boca, 10 p.m. to about 1. Be on time, no African time. The program is a lot of fun, and we all had fun learning about the arts and learning about different artists, from music to poetry. Um, I certainly support Moji and everything that she has to offer, you know, the New York community. Thank you so much, Moji. Hey, what's up? This is Incredible Unforgettable. Straight for Uptown, Boogie Down, Theme of the Daydream, Moonlight, Parasite, Thunder, Lightning, King of Excitement, known as North Star, one third of the Mighty Mighty Division X here at Buka Restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Every uh, last Thursday is going to have the talent show comedy thing going on, so you should come through, check it out. It's definitely uh, worth the adventure, worth the trip. Hey, I'm Cyclone. Uh, did a beautiful, uh, great comedy set tonight at Booker Lounge. And uh, had a great time. I got to thank Moji and Sophia W. Nurse for having me down here. And keep on coming down here. Enjoy yourself. Top line all the way. What's up? This is Ainsley Burroughs at Booker with Moji Solar. Event was live. It's every third Friday of the month. Guess what? Next month, I'm going to be here, so you should be too. Hi, my name is Isabel, and I'm happy to say that I've known Moji now for about 15 years, and she is a very strong, dedicated woman who really gets the job done. I had a really great time. I met Moji a month ago. I didn't know how funny she was, but I had a tremendous time, and I invite everyone to come out and laugh just as much as I laughed today. Thank you. Dear Moji, I have been looking at you, and you look absolutely stupendous. First of all, hold on. I had to go find freaking. I'm like, the guys in Nigeria is using big words. Here in America, we don't talk about stuff like that. What's up? How's it going? That's what we talk about, isn't it? And then he goes to me, he goes, you know, I was reading the, the, your profile today, and I looked at those fabulous legs, and then I'm in love. <gasps> You're in love? You've never even seen me! Can you imagine? How can you? I went on a date. Ah, this one is good. How about you go on a date with a guy, and two days later he tells you he's in love? I'm like, what kind of love is that? Tell me! He's 21 year old. Guy! Where can I buy that body? Yeah. Tell me now. Be nice. But I'm so glad you guys came out tonight. I mean, there's a, there's a, there were, this place, I swear to God, was supposed to be packed. But they could not get off the boat. You know? Because Homeland Security don't spell everything. I swear, 12 years ago. I was in America for 18 years with no green card. Can you imagine? Every time I see a white guy, I start on me. No joke. Because I think it's immigration. But then I finally got the damn green card. I looked at the thing, I said, ah. They said it's green now. 12 years of suffering in this country, washing dishes, doing slavery. Yes, it's called slavery. It's called Baya Baya, actually. You know what Baya Baya is? Nobody knows. You guys are too young. No grown up in here knows what Baya Baya is. Baya Baya. Home health aid. That is the best job in the universe. I'm not playing. Because you get to meet all these older people. And hopefully one day they die and give you $50,000. <laughs> it happened to my cousin. No, don't, don't, ah, uh, what? The girl packed up her luggage. Kia Kia went to Nigeria. She was a millionaire. <laughs> Sit down there, they laugh. That's the best way to do it, my people. Age 2 through 12, I would take you to different supermarket produce aisles because you can tell by looking at me, I just love eating fruits and vegetables. And without a doubt, there'd always be some store manager coming up to us going, Excuse me, sir, you can't be doing that shit here. I'd pick my head up, juice dripping down my chin and go, Come on, peaches, let's go to the deli aisle. And did you guys hear that this should go over well in this crowd? The Olympics, London 2012, they are adding a new sporting event. Pole dancing is now an Olympic sport. <laughs> Yep. 
I'll tell you what, now strippers have two really fucking cool jobs. The only part that bothers me still is the fact that Team Britain gets to wrap their teeth around the poles. What, we're British in here all of a sudden? <laughs> Chains and the bullshit flossing of material gains. This is more about the words that they say at your grave. Did you hold up your weight? Did you strive to be great? Did you work like a man putting food on your plate? Did you walk with the crooked and a heart full of hate? Was your heart and your mind mostly in the right place? Did you push the extent? Was your love true intent? Did you run with the devil, everything hell bent? Were your days of living on the earth well spent? And at the first sign of struggle, did you pack up your tent? Did you live every moment with a thirst for the ride? Did you jump in the water just to roll with the tide? 
Did you look for a reason just to strive to survive? When I look upon the crowd, I know I got mines. It's the 12 o'clock chatter when the hot beat rattle got my hand on her hips. It gets no better. The ignorant noise from my knuckle headed boy, wild pack holler back. It gets no better. Feeling like a man taking care of your fam, putting money in their hand. It gets no better. A wife in the crib, growing old with your kids. That's the best way to live. It gets no better. friends and it's a great atmosphere and uh, big up to a girl like Moji every time. Fun and I appreciate the level of organization that must have gone into this. Moji is a real funny girl and her get up was beautiful. I enjoyed myself. Cheers. Yeah, book our authentic Nigerian restaurant. We are here downtown in downtown Brooklyn, 946 14th Street. At Buka, we serve authentic Nigerian food where you come and have like uh, the kind of food you're going to get from. Hey, it's Moji Sola from Buka in Brooklyn. I hope you guys had a great time. I hope to see you again every third Friday of the month at Buka. <laughs>